Uh, today I want to have a look at the work of Paul Klee uh, here, uh, especially his work, more specifically his work about uh, fish and a kind of underwater life on here. Uh, so I've got a couple of examples of his uh, work with fishes and I want to have a look at the way that he used patterns in his work. Okay. So I'm going to do two uh, examples of demonstration, uh, one in pencil and then one using oil pastels as well and a scratching technique. Uh, so depending on which equipment you've got, uh, you can exper experiment with both methods. Okay, so here I'm going to try to look closely at what types of patterns he's using on there. Uh, so here I'm looking at this one here and I can see, uh, you know, those kind of open shapes on here and then on there, there's some sort of cross-shaped ones. Uh, I can see those sort of wavy patterns to give the impression of water. Here I can see some sort of leafy ones. So I'm going to have a go at reproducing all those patterns I can see in there and see how I can put them together uh, to kind of create my own underwater sort of scene on here, okay? So here I want to do one of the fishes as well. Uh, so I'm gonna look at a fish pattern on here. So here I've got a little underwater scene and I'm starting getting some of the patterns that he has um, used on here. Uh, so you could keep going and start developing maybe some of your own patterns that you think uh, would work on that underwater scene. What I want to show you next is how to do something very similar in oil pastels. So for this oil pastel technique, we're going to overlay two really solid layers of oil pastels. Okay, so my first step is going to be to draw uh, the, in place, the position of my fish. Because I want my fish to stand out, I want the overlay and the underlay uh, to be different colours uh, for the fish than it is for the underwater scene. So here I'm really uh, choosing some similar colours uh, to what Paul Clay's used. So I've got the cold colours and the blues in the background and then the warm colours and uh, I'm going to put yellow and orange here for the fish. And then we're going to experiment with um, different type of lines and mark making uh, to really give that texture uh, to both the fish and the background. So you want to lay your pastel over uh, quite thickly. Uh, try to fill any gaps that might be there. Uh, we also want to have colours uh, that are going to be contrasting in value. Okay. Uh, so that means that we might want a light background like we've got here with a dark overlay. So here I'm going to overlay this with black when I came to that. And I want that contrast on the fish as well. I think my fish is going to look a bit more like this one here. Uh, so I'm going to use on top of my yellow uh, some red. So when I start scratching in the surface, the colour underneath really pops out. So to get that thick colour, you need to press hard on your paper uh, so we really have a thick layer of oil pastel so here once you've got your background uh, and your two layers of oil pastel um, on the page really solidly you can use a cocktail stick to scratch out some of the patterns here on the surface <laughs> 